You are about to see a fire, one that has been planned, a demonstration fire. An ashtray with a still smoldering cigarette is dumped into the wastebasket. Two minutes, eight seconds. The contents of the wastebasket are smoldering. Seven minutes, three seconds. The wastebasket is in flames. Nine minutes, 14 seconds. The room is an inferno. You are about to experience the power of fire. In 1986, I narrated that program called Firepower for the National Fire Protection Association, the NFPA. The purpose was to demonstrate the awesome deadly power of a fire and the incredible speed with which a home fire can spread. We wanted viewers to see how quickly a home fire can reach the point of flashover when everything in a room combusts and no one can survive. We wanted viewers to understand that if a fire starts in their home, time is very short and their first priority must be to escape. Our fire begins here in the living room where most home fires start. Let's take a look around. This is in the 1986 video, I took viewers on a tour of a two-story frame house before we set it on fire. The front hallway, sort of a catch-all for a busy family, and the only direct exit for someone who may be upstairs. Let's see what we have on the second floor. We pointed out the sentimental items and the children's clothes and toys, which would soon be destroyed in the fire. In that video, we also pointed out the smoke alarm, which gave a warning that a fire had started. That home was not protected with fire sprinklers, and so the uncontrolled fire destroyed much of the home before the fire department could arrive to fight and extinguish it. But we also did a second demonstration, showing how in a home that was equipped with fire sprinklers, an identical fire was extinguished quickly, before conditions became life-threatening, and before any significant damage was done. Much has changed since we made that video in 1986, yet one thing has remained the same. The awesome, destructive power of fire and the speed at which an unchecked home fire reaches the point of no return. Flashover. Let's take a look back at the demonstration fire we set in 1986. 30 seconds from first flame, the sofa ignites. From this point, fire grows rapidly. If you discover a fire, leave immediately and call the fire department from a neighbor's house. Nowadays, you might call from your cell phone rather than the neighbor's house, but the point remains the same. When you discover a fire, get out fast and then call the fire department. Let's return to the 1986 fire. One minute, four seconds from first flame, smoke begins to fill the room. One minute, 35 seconds. The smoke layer in the living room descends rapidly. Gases flowing out of this room now exceed 190 degrees Fahrenheit. One minute, 50 seconds. The smoke detector at the foot of the stairs sounds an alarm, providing warning before exits are blocked. Take action immediately. Crawl low where the air is cleaner. Two minutes, 30 seconds. The temperature above the couch is now 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Two minutes, 48 seconds. Smoke pours into the dining room. Thick black smoke moves rapidly upstairs. Three minutes, three seconds. Melted polyurethane burns under the couch. Suddenly, the lampshade ignites. The temperature three feet above the floor in this room is over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. No one could survive. From the outside, there may be no evidence of the inferno inside. Three minutes, 41 seconds. The energy in the room suddenly ignites everything. Within one minute, the temperature has risen to over 1,400 degrees. Flashover. Only two minutes after the smoke alarm sounded, we watched as the downstairs and upstairs hallways became impassable. For anyone still inside the house, an emergency escape route would be the only way out. It's important to note that today's larger homes with open designs allow a fire to spread throughout the house quickly. The expanded use of synthetic material along with other modern contents and furnishings provide a powerful fuel source. Back to 1986, as the fire raged inside and out, the fire department arrived. 
and firefighters wearing protective clothing enter to search the house and to combat the fire. Fire grows so fast that the fire department may not be able to rescue anyone trapped inside. They open walls to check for fire spread. The aftermath of the fire was grim. It took just four minutes from the first flame in the wastebasket for the temperature in this room to reach over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The fire ultimately became so hot the window glass softened and flowed like taffy. The message today is the same as it was in 1986. You cannot survive flashover. If fire starts in your home, get out immediately and stay out. No matter what precautions you take, no matter how small a fire may appear, its progress is rapid, its power awesome. Escape must be your top priority. In the 1986 video, we showed how quickly home fire sprinklers control and often extinguish a home fire. Today, there are many resources available about home fire sprinklers and their life-saving benefits. For more information, go to the NFPA's Fire Sprinkler Initiative. For educational resources, visit the Home Fire Sprinkler Coalition.